Okay, children. Here we are again, okay? Uh, I hope that you already wrote your paragraph about how do you feel with this quarantine, okay? And let's begin with our work in language, okay? According to our homeschooling page, remember that we are going to continue with language, okay? So take a moment and please open your book on this page. That is page number 81. This is language. And we continue with verb tenses review, okay? Now, it says, the, the exercise says, re read the chart. Write an example of each type of verb using the verbs in each of your sentences. Underline the verbs in each of your sentences. So we have this. The tense is simple present. When do we use simple present? When, some, when we want to say something that we do as a habit or a routine. That's when we use simple present. So let's do the first one. A sentence in simple present can be can be to describe something that we do as usual. For example, I don't know, walk. We walk as a routine or a habit. In simple present, we would say, I walk to school every day. Yes? Don't forget the period. That would be simple present because we are using this verb to describe something that we do as a habit or a routine. And remember that the next in the instruction it says underline the verbs in each of your sentences. So let's underline it. What is the verb? Walk. That's what you have to do, okay? The next ones are these, present progressive. When do we use present progressive? To express something that is happening right now. That's when we use present progressive. Think of a verb that you can use in a sentence to describe something that you are doing in this moment. Then we have present perfect. Present perfect is used to describe something that started in the past but has not finished yet. So we have to say a verb that something that we started in the past and it hasn't finished. Okay? Then the last exercise is present perfect progressive, okay? Present perfect progressive is used to describe something that started in the past and is still in progress, okay? Remember, if you have doubts about these forms of the verb, remember that our books in former pages, in the other pages, uh, they are explaining the formulas. Remember the formulas that I told you? Yes? So you can do them, okay? And don't forget to do this, underline the verbs in each of your sentences. That is exercise number one, okay? Let's continue with exercise number two, okay? Exercise number two is choose the form of the verb that best fits each sentence. Circle your answer. What could be the best form of the verb for this sentence? I, for the past three hours. I study, or I am studying, or I have been studying for the past three hours. 
according to these descriptions okay remember that we have to choose the correct form of the verb according to the sentence to the context of the sentence when we check these descriptions of the tenses we can find that I what let me tell you the correct answer is this I have been studying why because it is something that I started in the past and is still in progress. So, I have been studying for the past three hours. That means that I continue doing this, okay? I began in a moment in the past, but I continue with this activity. And this is the form that you have to Pay attention in number two, three, four, five, and you have to continue with the next exercises, okay? Yes? Okay, that was page number 81, and then we go to page number 82. Verb tenses review. We continue with these tenses, okay? Read the following paragraph. Write whether the underlined verbs are in simple present, present progressive, present perfect, or present perfect progressive tense. So we have to read this, the Parthenon, a symbol of Greece. And as you can see, you have to read this, okay? And you have to check the underlined verbs and in number one this is number one number two here number three here number four where is number four here number five here and number six here number one the first for the first verb it is what kind of tense Remember, what kind of tense is this? We have to read the Parthenon, a symbol of Greece. The Parthenon is a former temple that was dedicated to the goddess Athena. People have considered the Parthenon as an inspiring site since it was built. So, I'm going to help you with this one, and this is have considered remember it is come on think yes you are right we have to pay attention in this auxiliary it is present oh sorry it is present perfect that's the correct form of the verb for number one the, con the other two, three, four, five and six verbs you have to identify them and write the what is the correct form of the verbs that they are using there okay so this is language you need to go to the reading video that is the next one okay see you in a moment bye bye